not just the Florida Ravens back at it again, but the South Florida Ravens back at it again. Let's listen to this introduction from Adam Schefter. He said, a Ravens tight move, two-time Pro Bowl safety. Eddie Jackson reached agreement today with Baltimore on a one-year deal per sources. A safety with six defensive touchdowns for the Bears now will bring his talents to Baltimore. I love it. I know you do too. We're going to get into everything that this means for the Baltimore Ravens, everything that this means for Eddie Jackson, and everything that it means for you. Before we do, make sure you leave a like on the video. Click the thumbs up button. And I know on this video, y'all are going to go extremely crazy with leaving a like on the video. So do that. And also subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on so you don't miss nothing. No updates like this. No signings. Because it turns out the rumors that we were hearing, the rumors that everybody was talking about, but we had not seen it from anybody official at all. But those rumors ended up being true. Baltimore Ravens get their guy. They apparently been talking to him for a couple of days, but now it is official. Eddie Jackson to the Baltimore Ravens. Think about this. We've been talking about, and first off, Ravens, y'all are some trolls too. Because y'all literally waited to the day before veterans report to training camp. Y'all waited to the day before. We've been talking about this for months with y'all. For months talking about signing that third safety. And now y'all want to wait to the last second to do it. I, I know y'all playing. But anyway, what this means for the Baltimore Ravens. Freedom. Freedom. Especially for our guys, super duper Kyle. This is one of the biggest reasons that we wanted the Baltimore Ravens to sign a third safety so he could continue to be unlocked. So he's not put in this box. So not, he's not just put as a strong safety and has to remain there. We know Kyle Hamilton literally plays everywhere on the defense. Now he can continue doing just that. For Marcus Williams, we know when Marcus Williams, unfortunately, Thus far, to this point in his career as a Baltimore Raven, he's dealt with a lot of injury issues. 13 games over the past two years, that's a lot that he's missed, a whole lot. Hopefully, that wrong can be righted. But just in case, just in case he deals with some issues, hopefully he doesn't. But just in case, we got Eddie Jackson that could play safety too. But now think about this too. Our Darius Washington, who the Baltimore Ravens have been propping up this whole offseason. And I ain't mad at it at all. I hope all Darius Washington does his thing when given the opportunity. But now he does move back. He takes a step back on the depth chart, which I'm sure he doesn't like. But at the same time, for the Baltimore Ravens collectively as a whole, as a team, if he's your next best safety, if he's he's a depth safety, that's a beautiful thing because this is somebody that you've been talking up all offseason that they could be a potential starter. So to have him as depth, that's a beautiful thing. So again, that gives the Baltimore Ravens that much more flexibility. Eddie Jackson, though, what's up with him? Where did he come from? How, how's he been doing? Because we heard about Eddie Jackson before. We know he is sort of, I don't want to say a ball hawk, but he got a knack for finding the ball. And obviously, like Adam Schefter mentioned, with all those defensive touchdowns, he not only got a knack for finding the ball, but got a knack for finding the end zone on defense. And we know we had a safety like that. Not saying that he's on that safety's level, because he's not. Nobody is. But the Baltimore Ravens had a safety who had a knack for finding the end zone as well in Mr. Ed Reed. Let's look at our guy Eddie Jackson's stats. He said, from 2017... Uh, he got he came off the scene rookie year two interceptions got a touchdown as well uh, 2018 he got six interceptions so he was like hold up this NFL thing is for me <laughs> and I'm for it too uh, then 2019 he got two picks and then the next two years he kind of calmed down a little bit because he ain't get no picks in 2020 and 2021 so he was like man what was going on with him but then in 2022 he said man I feel rejuvenated I feel fresh and he came with four interceptions but then last year with everything going on with the Chicago Bears, he was probably thinking in the back of his mind, and actually in the front of his mind, I need to get on up out of here. This ain't the place for me. I don't want to be here anymore. So he only got one interception. He only got one, and that was it. So he was like, you know what? This is probably going to be my last year. Yeah, I'm going to see myself out. And now he enters with the Baltimore Ravens. Now, with that being said, because it's obviously not all about picks, the Baltimore Ravens, with them having a veteran, somebody who's been here done that in the NFL, has been productive throughout his career as their third safety. He's going to be on the field a lot because like we've talked about, like y'all already know because y'all are extremely smart, he's going to be on the field a lot because the Baltimore Ravens, well, he's expected to be on the field a lot because what the Baltimore Ravens did and have done over the past couple of years is use a lot of three safety sets. Now, with new defensive coordinator Zach Orr 
Like we've been saying, we expect him. He's going to do his own thing now, but I expect him to do a lot of what Mike McDonald, what made Mike McDonald successful with the Baltimore Ravens. And if you got somebody who has done his thing, has reached a high level of success, and you following in their footsteps, you, of course, you want to establish it for yourself. You want to establish your own level of success, but at the same time, you don't want to completely just come in and change every single thing, especially if what he did before you worked. So we expect a lot of the same stuff that Mike McDonald did last year, but it's still technically to be determined. But Eddie Jackson will be used. He will be used a lot, a whole lot. But this makes the Baltimore Ravens secondary as a whole. We talked about the safeties alone, but this makes their secondary that much deeper and that much more versatile. Now, Eddie Jackson, he's a safety. Marcus Williams, he's a safety. Kyle Hamilton, he's in everything. You can put him everywhere. Or Darius Washington, he's somebody else that can do a little bit of everything. So he gives you that much more flexibility. Marlon Humphrey, he's a corner, but you can put him outside. You can put him inside. You can do so much stuff with him. With Nate Wiggins, primarily outside corner, will he be able to play some slot in the NFL? It's to be determined because, hey, it's not college anymore. So on a professional level, it's to be determined. Brandon Stevens, you think about him. Obviously, outside corner, but he can play inside corner too. He can also and has also played safety. So Arthur Millette. Also somebody, primarily inside corner. You can put, kick him outside a little bit, but he's primarily inside guy. But I say all that to say this, TJ Tampa, he's somebody you can move around to. So Baltimore Ravens, with even before Eddie Jackson, they had a lot of flexibility. But you add Eddie Jackson to all of that, you just became that much more flexible as a team. Whoa, Paul's not like that, but you get what I'm saying. So the Baltimore Ravens, they can do that much more more now so when you can do that much more on defense we're not limited to what you can do you're not limited to certain packages certain sets certain formations when you can do more then you can disguise more too because you can have so many different guys on the field that can do so many different things and the offensive coordinators the offenses the quarterbacks that you're going up against they ain't gonna know what's coming they ain't gonna know who's doing what because they're like oh ain't he a outside oh ain't he a rush line back oh ain't he a safety what's he doing over there what what's he a you don't know who's coming from where. You don't know what their responsibilities are because now the Ravens, just they have that ability to disguise it. Another reason I love this move, familiarity. Uh, Eddie Jackson goes way back with a couple of our Baltimore Ravens. He played in Alabama with none other than Marlo, Marlon Humphrey. So they got some ties there. But then on the NFL level, it gets even better because he also played with Roquan Smith. On the Bears. He played with Roe. So that familiarity that he has with those two, more so Roquan Smith because it was a lot more recent, but that familiarity that he has with those two guys, that can help go a long way because those are two leaders on this defense. They can help usher him in and make the transition from him being over there in Chicago to being in Baltimore that much smoother. If you go to a new job and you don't know nobody, it can be intimidating. It can make you nervous. It can make you even scared. And it might make you do worse at your job than you would expect yourself to because you don't know nobody. You're not familiar with nobody. So you may be overthinking stuff. But with Eddie Jackson, think about that too. There's so many positives with this signing. But you think about that with Eddie Jackson. He's coming in and he knows some of the top players on this Baltimore Ravens defense already. He's played with some of the top players on this Baltimore Ravens defense already. So him coming in, oh, Ro, that's you. Ro, what's up, baby? What's going on? Marlo, hey, Mar hey remember back when, uh, yeah, I know you're, yeah. They back together again. And this whole reunion, him and Marlon Humphrey, him and Roquan Smith, they got a lot of unfinished business. Obviously, they were in different situations before. He was with Alabama back then. He was with Chicago previously. But now he's with the Baltimore Ravens. And while the numbers, you look, look at, just looking at it overall this past four years, we know he got four picks two seasons ago. Last year only got one, but the, the three and four seasons ago, he didn't get any. And we know interceptions are not everything, and those stats do not tell the entire story. We get that and we respect it. But still... You come into a new situation and you can feel rejuvenated, 
especially if you've been in your previous situation for a while and it just it's been shaky for a long time because we know with Chicago and we ain't taking no shots to nobody but we know what the Chicago Bears it's been shaky over there for a minute now with Baltimore Ravens people can say oh it's been shaky with the Ravens too but it's been a different kind of shaky they win in the regular season they get a lot done but then postseason that's where it gets shaky I would much rather have the shakiness in post. I mean, we don't want the shakiness at all, but I would much rather our issues be in postseason because we're getting there. We're consistently getting there, but it's when we get there where we face the biggest issues. With Chicago, well, yeah, y'all know with Chicago, they wasn't even sniffing playoffs like that. So this could be a really, really good move. This, I'm not saying it is going to be, but you think about somebody like a Jadavian Clowney. You think about how Jadavian Clowney was before a couple of years prior. He was one of the playmaker, one of the best playmakers in the NFL. He had his moments and whatnot. He wasn't consistently one of the best, but he was somebody that, hey, that dude, he could play. But then so a lot of people thought that he fell off. I heard a lot of people say the same thing about Eddie Jackson. A couple of days ago when the rumors were first flying around, I heard some people say, oh, man, no, he ain't the same that he used to be. He ain't as good. Oh, he's all right. No. This could be a rejuvenation. Same way Jadavian Clowney came to the Baltimore Ravens. And boy, it was like this was a whole new Jadavian Clowney. We're hoping for that same thing with Eddie Jackson. Now, I know a lot of us, we did want Justin Simmons. We wanted Justin Simmons to come through. We wanted him to be that third safety for the Baltimore Ravens. But that dream is officially over with them signing Eddie Jackson. And I ain't mad at it. I ain't, I ain't mad at it at all. Um, that was my preference, but Eddie Jackson is just fine. And again... Like I said before, he's not only from Florida, but he's from South Florida. And you know them South Florida boys on the Ravens? They're going to shake some stuff up. They're going to make some plays for sure. But just the Florida boys. Think about the Florida boys for the Ravens in general. Obviously, Lamar Jackson. Obviously, Zay Flowers. Um, but then, Derrick Henry too. Derrick Henry's from Florida. And I think Derrick Henry know a little something about making plays but now you add eddie jackson to that and i know there's more as well but this should make for a real real fun season um this was a move that a lot of us expected the baltimore ravens to make with adding a third safety we knew it was just it was a matter of time it was a matter of time before they ended up making it happen we continue to say that we didn't expect them like with sanusi kane with bo braid like hey they they were they're rookies we didn't expect the baltimore ravens to hand them that third safety spot because we just expected them to go with a veteran this whole time. Especially with the situation. Like, if Ravens were a rebuilding team, they were starting from scratch, from the ground up, okay, they might. They could roll with a rookie. They could roll with a young guy at the safety position, but they're not that. They're a team that's literally competing for a Super Bowl. So, hopefully, after this year, it's not just, oh, the Baltimore Ravens are contenders or they were contenders for a Super Bowl, but hopefully, after this season, they can get it done. And this move is something that can help them get that much closer.